Hi Year 2, welcome to your guided reading lesson for today. And today we are going to be focusing on the V in our vipers and that is vocabulary. Okay, so that means that we're going to be focusing on some words in our story and you're going to try and think about what those words mean without using a dictionary, Google, Alexa, or any other way that we might find out what words mean. Okay, I want you to read around the text. Have a think what you what those words mean. I will be able to tell if you've copied the meaning from Google or a dictionary. Okay, so make sure you have your whiteboards and pens and you can pause the video when I focus on the words. There will be four words all together and I will recap those words at the end of this video so you can go over it again. Okay, so the story that we're going to be looking at is called The Big Adventure. Now, before we start any book, we look at the front cover and the title and we think about oh, what might this book be about? So it's called The Big Adventure and there's a picture of some animals and they've got their rucksacks on like they're going somewhere. Have a think what you think the story's about. It was the start of a new day. Moose, fox, chicken and bear stared out of the window and wondered what to do. That is your first word, wondered. They stared out of the window and wondered what to do. What do we think the word wondered means? Let's go beyond the hill and have a really big adventure said Bear. A really big adventure needs a lot of planning and preparation. Mm, preparation. What do we think that word means? What does that word sound like? It might sound like a word that you already know. If not, read around the word. What do we think it means? A really big adventure needs a lot of planning and preparation, said Moose. They all agreed. Let's go to Africa, said Fox. Or the North Pole, said Bear. We could go to the moon, said Moose. Or to the next village, said Chicken. My auntie lives there. I would love to meet a whale, said Bear. Or a lion said fox, or an alien, said moose, or my auntie, said chicken. They started to pack. We'll need these, said fox, and these, said moose, and we can't go without these, said bear. Are you sure? asked chicken. Then they began to get anxious. That's your third word, anxious. What if there is a storm, worried moose? Or a fire, shuddered bear? Or a crash, shivered fox? There won't be, said chicken. The night before the big adventure, moose, fox and bear lay wide awake. I can't sleep, said Moose. I'm scared, said Fox. My tummy feels funny, said Bear. Chicken said nothing. In the morning, the four friends checked their map and climbed up the hill. When they reached the top, they gazed around them. That's your fourth word and your last word, gazed. When they reached the top, they gazed around them. What could that word mean? The other side of the hill looked beautiful. And so did the little village where Chicken's auntie lived. How far is it to Africa? asked Fox. How about the North Pole? asked Bear. And the moon? asked Moose. They are a long, long way away, said Chicken. But the village where my auntie lives is right there. 
they ran down the hill towards the village. This isn't as scary as going to Africa, said Fox, or as cold as going to the North Pole, said Bear, or as far as the moon, said Moose, and if we hurry, we will be just in time for tea with my auntie, said Chicken. This is the nicest adventure ever, said Moose. And the tastiest, added Fox. And not at all scary, said Bear. Sometimes the very best adventures are the small ones, said Chicken. And they all agreed. I hope you enjoyed that story, year two. So remember, we're not using dictionaries or Google or any other way to find out what the words mean, apart from your reading skills. OK, you need to read around the word. Listen to the story. You can replay it again if you need to.